Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Austin from Austin Family Chiropractic in Verdon, Illinois. And today in this video, I would like to demonstrate for you, using my model here, how we're going to do a very nice exercise for the upper mid back area, specifically for the rhomboid muscles, and it's what we call the angel wing exercise. It's a very important exercise. So that's what we're going to demonstrate in this video. Okay, so looking at our chart here, we see the vertebral column here, the spine, and we have the upper mid-back vertebrae and the thoracic spine, and then on either side we have the scapula bones, which are also called the shoulder blades. So the rhomboid muscle lives right in this area. It originates on the side of the vertebrae in the thoracic spine and it inserts on the medial border of that scapula or shoulder blade bone. So here we're looking specifically at the rhomboid muscle now and the fibers of the rhomboid muscle we talked about in the last chart go from here down from the spine lariat down to the inside border of that shoulder blade which is right here. So that's the area we're going to be working, the rhomboid muscle, with this angel wing exercise. Okay, so she's going to demonstrate this angel wing exercise for the rhomboid muscles. Now, what we're going to be doing here, when we're doing this exercise, we're going to be keeping in, in our mind that what we're actually trying to do is bring our two shoulder blade bones closer together. So we're going to demonstrate this right now. So she's going to do two repetitions of this. You're going to first imagine that your elbows are velcroed against your sides. We're going to have the thumbs where they are up and then we're going to go out to the side. We're going to hold each rep for five seconds and we're going to feel those shoulder blades come closer together. And do that one more time. Okay, and ideally we should start out doing at least five repetitions of that. When that gets easier, then we're going to add a couple of bottled waters for a little bit of resistance. So let's go ahead and do two repetitions like that. One more. And you can feel that it's a little harder to do that than it was before. water bottles get easy, then we're going to add a couple of two pound dumbbells. So now we're going to do a couple repetitions like that with the two pound dumbbells. And once again, that's a little bit harder than just with the water bottles, isn't it? And finally, if you'd like to increase even more resistance, more than what the two pound dumbbells offer. I wouldn't recommend going up any higher in weight, but we can use a TheraBand. And so now she's going to demonstrate with a TheraBand. A couple repetitions. And you can see she's not able to go as far out as she was with the, with no resistance with the water bottles or with the dumbbells. Because it does limit our range of motion a little, but still gives a good workout bringing those shoulder blades together, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. So then one last thing. Let me get rid of this. I'm going to turn you sideways. Okay. So what happens, for most of us in our everyday life, we're sitting at computers, we're sitting at a desk in school, correct? Yes. Or we are sitting at a desk with our job, or we're driving. And what happens is these shoulder blades, these scapulas, come farther apart, these rhomboids get weak, and our shoulders tend to do this. We kind of slump forward. So that's why most of my patients, I have them do this angel wing exercise, and it's to strengthen, turn that way, it's to strengthen these rhomboid muscles we were talking about to try to retrain those so they're keeping the shoulder blades or scapula back closer to where they need to be instead of being out like that. So ideally I would do five to ten repetitions of that and I would do it once or twice a day. So that is our angel wing exercise and I hope that you will 
do this exercise, add it to your exercise regimen, and implement it on a daily basis. Thank you for watching and have a terrific day.